My God, that, that's a mouthful in itself. So Moses finished the work. Once he had finished, 34 says, Then a cloud covered the tent of the congregation, and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. Moses was not able to enter into the tent of the congregation because of the cloud. The cloud abode there on. And the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. Verse 36 says, And when the cloud was taken up from over the tabernacle, the children of Israel went onward in all their journeys. But if the cloud were not taken up, then they journeyed not till the day that it was taken up. For the cloud of the Lord was upon the tabernacle by day, and fire was on it by night in the sight of all of the house of Israel throughout all of their journey. Thus be the reading of the word of the Lord. I want to talk to us this morning from the subject. Yeah, there it is. Just don't stop. Amen. Just don't stop. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Uh, again, as we begin uh, to speak uh, from the subject and from the context of the journey of the children of Israel, as they journeyed out of slavery and bondage of Egypt, and began their journey with God on their way to a land of promise by the name of Cana, uh, we are amen, made privy to understand that throughout the history of Israel's journey uh, through the wilderness, that the people of God uh, were come into many challenges and faced many obstacles. As a matter of fact, uh, many of the things that the children of God face, they seem to impede their progress as it relates to their journey to the land of Canaan. And surely, this morning, brothers and sisters, as we began to consider the climate in which we live and all uh, that many of us are facing today, just as Israel faced many challenges and the obstacles on their journey with God, surely... The Bible declares that all that will live godly in Christ Jesus, we shall suffer persecution. I want to pause for a moment and I want to encourage somebody that may be going through specifically today to understand that uh, what you're going through should not be an indication or an inclination that you have fallen outside of the will of God. No, just because you're facing difficulty, it does not mean that God is not with you. It does not mean that God has forsaken you. It doesn't even mean necessarily that God is not happy with your service or with your walk with Him. That's what the enemy would like for us to think and he would like for us to feel that way when we encounter, amen, obstacles and difficulties. The reality is... Uh, the Bible declares, how, and I'm going to paraphrase here, how do I know that I have ceased from sin, he says, when we have trouble in our flesh. In other words, the enemy would have us to look at the difficulties, the tests and trials of life, and then from a negative perspective to assume that we're nothing close to what God would have us to be. But I would like to suggest to us today that, amen, perhaps trouble and trial that you're facing today is an indication that you're moving in the right direction. Amen. I wish somebody would put that in the comment line today. I'm moving in the right direction. Amen. If your heart is fixed and your mind is made up and you're focused daily on pleasing God, it doesn't mean you're not going to come in contact with some difficulties. But I don't want you to allow that to discourage you today from walking with God. And I want to speak uh, specifically right now and tell you just don't stop. The word stop. Word stop there. I began to look it up. Amen. The word stop as a verb. Man, the word stop it means to cause, amen, an event or an action or a process to come to an end. It means to cause it 
to cease, man, and not to happen. That's as a word. Man, the word, amen, the word stop as a noun. It means it is the cessation or the ceasing of movement and operation. In other words, this word stop we find is synonymous with bringing something to an end, a termination, amen, a discontinuance, cutting it short. Man, it means and it speaks to something being immobilized, paralyzed, deactivated, or shut down. Man, but I come to tell somebody today that God does not want you to stop. He doesn't want you, amen, to allow your promises to be cut short because of the discouragement that the enemy is trying to place in our way. As a matter of fact, amen, even in considering uh, the word Huh? 
huge. I'm passing through a barren land. But they said, but I got a home that's beyond the city. And they said, Lord, I don't do just what you say. We must understand now that the difficulties that we face in our journey and our walk with God now, amen, they are not designed to bring us to a stop. Stop! 
it now. And the Bible declared that David's wife were gone. David's children were gone. Everything that David had, it had been taken captive by the enemy. And the Bible declared that David began to weep. I ain't going through those family, the friends that he had. But the Bible declared that David, he encouraged himself in the Lord his God. I'm going to tell you right now, if you will just encourage yourself, yes, Lord. Don't tell God about your problem. But look.